Hello everybody and welcome back to Age of Engineering. I am back. It is midnight currently in the game. And uh, while I've been off camera, um, in between episodes, I have finished the smeltery. We now have a very small smeltery, but it is too high and has everything we would ever need. Besides well casting dish wells and lava, but we will figure that out today. And I've also placed play some torches around, but most importantly, I think, is I have gone mining a little bit, spent all of like maybe five minutes wandering around in caves looking for some easy surface ores, and I have collected 21 copper ore, 23 uh, iron, and 32 tin, uh, and two osmium, because why not? We won't get into mechanism for a while, but oh well, so that's what I've done. Um, because I I went mining um, between episode one and two, because this pack, as I've mentioned before, is super grindy. You need a lot of resources, and you have to start immediately. So, the more resources we get, we collect, um, in the beginning, the easier it will be, uh, moving on forward. So, um, it, you would, you will notice it is midnight, so I realize that we actually have four string in here, and two wool from killing sheep. We can make string into another wool, so now we have enough wool for... A bed, so now we will not have to uh, see night ever again. We can sleep through it every single day, and it would be nice if we just uh, woke up in the day. Thank you very much. So now uh, we won't really have a problem with mobs because I do kind of just want to like live out in the open, not really build any walls, not really build a house. That's just kind of the way I like to do it and expand out. So we won't really have to worry about mobs for a little while anyway. So. Uh, in between episodes, I have made, uh, this, I have, um, completed this smell tree. It's not big. It is very, it's not big. It's only, there are a total of, like, nine spaces in here. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, uh, actually, no. Nine, eighteen spaces. I am a big stupid, but anyway, there are eighteen spaces in here to fill up a bunch of stuff. However, uh, we do not have lava, so to do that, um, again, we cannot make a bucket because we cannot smell any iron ore into iron um, because we can with like the um, regular furnace because that's that's uh, like discontinued or like you can't do that in this pack essentially uh, you cannot smelt iron ore into iron in the furnace we have to use the actual smeltery for that which is a problem because we need iron to get a bucket and whatnot, but we have something called a clay bucket in this pack, uh, which is a temporary solution until we get some lava. We have an unfired clay bucket, right? And we can smelt this, right? So look at that, we can smelt it into one of these, a clay bucket, which we can then use to get a clay bucket filled with lava. So there we go, bing bada boom, got a clay bucket. Now. We need lava, and I've done some scaling around, and I actually have lava the other way. I waypointed it. It's right over there, about 70 meters away, uh, but that is easy enough to get and go to. So, um, yeah, I need some mineral berries. I think that mineral berries will be our primary, primarily our, uh, our first source of food. Our uh, primarily source of food. That does not make sense. Oh uh, well. So. It's not small, it's, it, it, it is small, it's not a lava lake at all, but it's one piece of lava, which will last us for more time than you think, honestly. Um, it will last us until we're, um, to get a bucket, like a, to get iron to get a bucket, right? Um, which, you know, so then we can, uh, use that bucket all the time, and, uh, be, I guess I should have explained that, like, a clay bucket, you know, uh, if you break if you place the lava back down it destroys the clay bucket um lava only has a one uh if you oh my gosh i cannot speak words today i'm going the wrong way uh if you uh hold on i am having um a bit of a hard time uh, getting my thoughts straight so if you use lava with a clay bucket the clay bucket will disappear um which i can show you right about now so boom clay bucket is gone we uh, if we use lava in it the clay bucket um has like a one use to ability so yeah we can no longer use that one clay bucket we do have more clay but i would like to be able to get a reusable bucket for iron so what i'm going to do here is just i guess uh, let me just fill the entire smeltery with that stuff there we go we have a bunch of iron now 
which will be nice. Now, the Smeltery does not double ores in this pack. Um, we have to wait until I see two to get that, which is not that far away. But for right now, we just have the Smeltery and nothing else. So, there's that. Um, yeah. So, let's look at the guide, because we are in a bit of a tr uh, troubling si situation here where we can't use this casting table, right? Because we don't have gold. Now, to get, like, a like some kind of cast, right? Let's go to the Stone Age. Um, the first thing you need, you might notice is that you can't smelt uh, ores into ingots, you and you can't smelt wood logs into charcoal. You need to get a Tinker Smelter and a Coke Oven for that, respectively. Before you go mining, though, it's recommend that you make a uh, portal to the mining world, which we have not done yet. The first goal is to get a Tinker's Construct Smelter. As usual, you need to gather, gather clay, sand, and gravel to craft grout. Using Tinker's Construct tools is recommended for that. Uh, as you can't craft a bucket to get lava to fire the smeltery, you can get, you can use a clay bucket filled with lava. You also don't have gold for ingot cast, but you can use aluminium brass um, to mine bauxite ore. You can either make a vanilla iron pickaxe by casting a block, or make an iron pickaxe head using a clay cast. So, what we need to do is we need to uh, pull out the blocks of iron, right? Because uh, if I... Um, so we need to get box set, right? And box set requires an iron pickaxe. So we need to get this block of iron, make that into ingots, uh, which is kind of a cheaty way of doing it. Um, and then we can just get an iron pickaxe on the go and uh, never have to worry about anything ever again, except we do. So let's get that. Uh, let's go and put all of our other iron in there. Uh, I'll get, so blocks of iron take a while to cool down, I guess, which is like a 1.9 1.10 change, I am not sure. That's kind of common, common knowledge, though. Alright, so now, we have an iron pickaxe, finally. Alright, so we have an iron pickaxe, that's great. So now we need to get some bauxite ore, which I believe there should be some bauxite ore down in this uh, local cavern. Yes, there is bauxite ore, which I believe this is technically, oh god, I think I disconnected from the server. I will be right back. Alright, we're back. So, Bauxite, well, I believe, turns into aluminium brass or aluminium. I'm not sure. But if that's the case, um, I don't know what to do. I'm pretty sure it turns into aluminium brass. We can actually check with you. Or not. Actually, yes, we can. Alright. So, this turns into molten aluminium, right? And to get a cast, get like, uh, let's choose the pickaxe cast. We need to get... Molten brass or molten aluminium brass and molten aluminium brass is made with aluminium and copper, which I have copper. Good, 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 good. So we can do this. I was just being a bit of a dumb. That's fine. And I and um, I found a good kind of parkour way to get out of here. I just kind of like align these so that like you kind of have to jump and like it's not like a staircase. Started. That'd be cool. It's not really cool. Oh well. Let's go back to base and a backup has started. Hooray. So we have aluminium, right? Oh. Well, yeah, aluminium. This is aluminium. But we also need some copper, which I have 21 of. So that's awesome. Um, I don't want anything else to mix, though. So what I'm going to do is pour out, pour, bleh, pour out as much iron as I can. We will have about five ingots left, uh, but that's fine. So that's done. Uh, and now we have five ingots left, but that is fine. I uh, hear a bit of an echo. Interesting. So I'm going to put the box I do in there. Couple in there, box that smelts up very fast. It doesn't look like it combines with anything, which is nice. And so the copper and the aluminium will combine to make um, aluminium brass, if I do believe. But we need like a, some pickaxe head, right, to um, place there to get like a. Well, I, I guess actually no, uh, I don't really want pickaxe head just yet. We don't really need Tinker's construct tools uh, just yet. So I'm just going to do a quick and easy ingot cast, which I think should be fine. This is aluminium brass. Good, 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 good. So, I think it's safe to pour this out onto here. And, moment of truth, there we go. We now have a cast. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now, I guess I can just, um... Hold on. We have, all right, so we ran out of box. That's fine. So, I'm just going to pour out all this, uh... Uh, aluminium brass. We do not have any way of automating this yet, uh, and it's a bit hard to automate because, for one, um, hoppers in this pack require aluminium, I, if I do believe. Hopper. 
which and a hop is like the easiest yeah uh hop is the easiest way to like um like pull pull um, st um stuff out of here um so like if we had a hopper underneath it this this thing it would go directly into that hopper which would be very nice and then the other easiest way is to make a clock for um, extra utilities and the clock requires redstone which we do not have because we have not had an iron pickaxe so and i haven't really dug deep enough to even find redstone so that's why we do not have the means to uh, automate the smeltery but that is fine we can wait a few more days in order to get it so i think that should work out fine now the next goal right the next goal we want to get to is it says we need to make a pull to the mining world which we were supposed to do in order to go mining but we need the smeltery to get iron so we can make a flint steel because we need the mining multi-tool i'm just jumping all over the place aren't i mining multi-tool hello how are you so we need what um excuse me all right so i just uh had a bit of a brain fart so um i thought like the scripts had like stopped or something or like a recipe had changed because i swore i swore that for the mining multi-tool right we needed like a flint and steel and not like a flint but apparently we just need a flint so i guess we could have gone to the mining dimension last episode but i didn't unless the rest this has to be changed i have no idea i don't think i updated the back but i have no idea so mining multi-tool stone pickaxe easy enough one two three and then we have the sticks for that easy enough as well boom right. and now we just need another stick which again is super easy one two and then we need two cobblestone. One, two. Cool. So now we should have everything we need to make the mining multi tool. There we go. And now for the uh, to like actually make the dim uh, dimension portal thingy, we need some. Um, we need some uh, stone bricks, right? And stone bricks require stone. So we're going to mining uh, dimension today. It'll be super fun. Not really, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I was looking at the creative age for some reason. So, uh, as you can't craft the app yet, uh, let's, uh, I'm just trying to, uh, go through here. Also, the smelter doesn't double you, or is it only smelts them, you have to wait until you have machines. Cool. Uh, after that, you need to build a coke oven. Coke oven require needs seared bricks and lava wood, which you get by pouring lava over wood planks with a smeltery. You need 27 blocks in a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube, so 14 crafting recipes uh, should do the trick. To form the multi-block, you need to right-click on the center of the block with the engineer's hammer. So that is the end of the Stone Age. That's all the stuff it tells us to do, but to actually progress into the Industrial Age, we need this thing right here, this symbol. Like, whatever the picture is, uh, right next to like the number that the age is. Uh, is the thing we need to unlock is the item we need to craft to unlock that age if that makes sense so I don't remember what this item is it's it might be the engineer's hammer although I do not think it is uh, no it's not hammer it is the uh, forge hammer which requires treated sticks which requires treated wood um, which Treated wood planks require creosote oil, which require us to make the coke oven. So it's all locked behind the coke oven. So that's why we need to make the coke oven. Cool, cool. So let's grab the stone. Let's grab the stone. And uh, I don't think we need much more stone. Uh, new, we do not. So everyone, stop what you're doing right now uh, before I fire any of you. Good, 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 good. So. Uh, let's sleep through the night, shall we, real quick? Um, just because I don't want any uh, sneaky creepers to come up and uh, destroy my homeland. So, um, I want. To, how about we just put like on top of this hill? Why not? What's the difference? So, I need to make. Hold on. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, 14, right? So I need to make 14 of these, which is, which we do like this, just simple as that. There we go, it does use durability. Hi, zombie, how you doing? So, uh, and I do want to make it fully complete, and I want to show that off. So let's do something like this. Two, three, one, two. Oh, wait, no. No, I did, right? All right, cool. That is the entirety of the uh, thing, and now we have the mining dimension. Awesome. Awesomely lovely. Uh, I guess we can go through it right about now, and uh, we will see where it takes us. It'll take us to a flat plane. Spoil all that, but oh well. Hi, how you doing? We are in the f we are in said flat plane. Uh, hi everyone, thanks for uploading. Really appreciate it. So um, now, uh, this this is essentially the basic premise of this is that it is a pl resource plentiful dimension, like. There are m many more resources, like, uh, ores spawn at a higher rate, essentially, than in, uh, the regular, um, than in regular, um, the, than in the regular dimension. Jesus. Took a while to get that out, but oh well. Uh, I'm just going to break all the corners because we don't really need it, and, uh, what if I want to make another one? Another mining, uh, dimension thingy. Uh, it'll, it'll help us not too much, but oh well. I don't care. Alright, cool. Uh, so yeah, this uh, will help me out a lot. I think I'm going to do most of my mining off camera, and don't worry, I'm not cheating because I physically cannot. There we go. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to do most of the mining off camera just because I don't really want to do that on camera, and uh, I feel like it'd be boring, and like I don't, like, I, you know, it's boring. So, going back to the regular world. Here we are in said uh, regular world. Cool, cool. Um, so let's go over here. We might need to make a new chest soon. I'm not sure about that though. So, like I said, I'm going to make a quick bucket, right? Uh, because we need to get lava. And, um, I think we should go back to the mining, uh, wall, right? Because, uh, there are many caverns in there, uh, and caverns typically contain lava. So, that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, so we are going back there. Saying the same thing many times, really just stalling. Let's, uh, go. Okay, we are in a cave now. Uh, not a big cave, so I'm getting out of here. Um, I guess I will also grab some ores, I guess. Might as well, right? We need ores a lot, uh, because, again, resource grandy pack. Uh, so let's just get that. I do primarily just want to get, uh, lava, though. So that's what we're really going to be looking for. And once we find lava, we're going to get out of here. Uh, so... Uh, this is not a big cave, like I've said, so we need to find a bigger cave uh, to get lava because there's obviously no lava in this cave. Cool. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold the phone, hold the phone. I hear some lava somewhere. It's like right below me. Where is this lava? It's like right over here. I hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. Hold no. No, it's not here. Um, excuse me? Hold on. I'm just gonna mind this hole. But like I heard lava, I heard the bubbling of lava. It was like right beneath me. It's right beneath my feet. It was like a pool of lava because, like, just one source block doesn't bubble, I think. Or it doesn't make the sound effect. Anyway. I I might just be going insane, although I don't think so. I've had my checkups. The doctors tell me I'm perfectly healthy. Healthy, normal boy. Um. Um, so I don't think I'm mentally insane. Um, but I might be. I mean, who knows. This is a lot of coal. Oh my gosh. So much coal. Oh, wow. A lot of coal. So much. Oh, it just keeps on going. 
It just keeps on going, this cold. Oh, please stop. Please. I don't want any more cold. Stop. Yay, it stopped. Alright, good. Oh, wait, hold on. Still some more coal. Please don't be any more coal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, now to find that lava, and I think I just found it. No, this is the outside world. Alright, awesome. Love the outside world. Favorite place ever. Don't attack me, beast. Do you guys hear that? I I'm going to dig straight down here. And if I don't find any lava, then title me insane. Because it is right beneath me. Yep, okay, found lava. GG, have no idea why it was just below this, we like, below here. I don't think it's connected to anything, honestly. Um, but it makes my job a lot easier. So that's nice. Thank you, lava. I appreciate you. Right. Okay, well, this is a pretty big lava spill. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. And I don't really want to die. Uh, that would be preferred. Because keep inventory, inventory is not on. Uh, yeah, not really connected to anything. It, um, which is a little bit weird, but at least it's close, right? At least it is close. Um, cool. I want to get that copper and then I'll be out of uh, here. And uh, actually, I'm going to make a few trips here uh, just to get a lot of lava. So, you know, like, I don't just have one more bucket because, like, I want a lot of lava for the smeltery. So, I'll do that uh, a few times, and I will be right back. Eh. Alright, I am back. So, we have a full tank of lava here, which is nice. Actually, it's not 100% full, but I couldn't get another bucket in there. I tried. So, uh, I guess I will just take this out and uh, keep on doing that for a little bit. So, now, now that we have, we've gotten to the mining dimension... Um, hold, big sidetrack here. I want to make a... Do, do I seriously not have a clipboard in this pack of technology? Excuse me? Eclipse? No. Plant clippings and trimmings? No. Board. Nope. I have cardboard. That's not what I want, though. Um. No, it doesn't look like I have, um... Doesn't look like I have any type of cl clipboard in this pack. Amazing. So, I'm just going to make a clipboard just to keep track of all my thoughts and uh, stuff. But no, apparently that's not how I work. So, uh, that's fine. Go put that there. Uh, yeah. Alright. All right, cool. So, I guess what we should do next. Uh, we've done the Tinker Smell Uh And now we need... It says we need to get a Coke oven. Uh, cookbooks need seared books and lava wood. Which you get by pouring lava over wood planks in the small tree. So we need even more lava. Amazing. Alrighty. That's fine. So we need 14 crafting recipes. So how much lava wood do we need? Let's do some math. We need coke books. Here we go. So two coke books require four lava wood. Alright. So that's four lava wood per two coke books. Cool. And we need 14 crafts. And so 14 times 4. So 14 times 4 is 56. So we need 56 lava wood. Which means we need 56 buckets of lava. Okay. Um, I don't remember it being that hard to get before. But that's fine. We have got an achievement. Or, yeah. It's still called, called achievements in this version. Alright, cool. Um... So, let's take these torches out. So, that means we need 56. Oh, no, 54, 56. Yeah, so so that means we need 56 buckets of lava. All right. That's, that's fine. We have a capacity of 20 buckets in this smeltery, which is also fine, I suppose. All righty. So, I need to make... This trip to the Mining Dimension 55 more times. Okay, um. Alright. So, I think I'm going to end this episode off here, honestly. I will make those 56 trips to the Mining World 
in, uh, in between episodes, so you guys don't have to see that, uh, because obviously it's just going to be a pain. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave this episode off here. Next episode, I think we should be able to complete the Stone Age. Um, which is getting the Coke oven, which we then need to make the Forge Hammer, and then we should be able to start on the Industrial Age, which will be fun. Uh, Industrial Age is all about icy cool, if I do believe. So yeah, I'm going to leave this episode up here. So thank you very so much for listening. I hope you do enjoy. And next week, bye bye.